All right, guys, let's go over the fit quick. It's pretty standard, I would think. There's the 425 fit and then the dual medium energy nude fit, which I think is the two most popular ones. But let's uh, let's take a look. So we've got the 180 mil auto cannon twos in the top. So they're the easiest to fit because of all the other stuff we've got on. Shame I can't fit the 220s, right? Uh, the two medium newts, which are the whole part of this ship and why we're able to switch off tanks or like escape fights. Two large shield extenders with the damage control. Now this has given us just under 22k AHP. Not great really. I mean, even on the shields, it's only 8,500, but the stab is not really known for tanking. It's just got as much buffer hit points on there as possible just so it can last the fight. Or like I say, escape if we get something new out. Got a quad lift for strain mighty war drive. Now this does 2,455 cold and heated it goes 3,500. So the stabber is a fast boy and that's what it's all about. We've got as much damage as we can squeeze into the low. So that's three gyro stabilizers and don't fit any TEs or anything guys. There's plenty CPU left for just as much damage as we can. We can actually apply with damage a lot better just by piloting and stuff as you'll see in the coming vids. In the rigs, this is a bit of an optional one. We've got an AM shield reinforcer too. Um, you can fit a, a T2 one on, but it's going to push the price up to like 54, 55 mil. And I wanted to try and keep this like sub 50 mil. We've got two ancillary current routers just for the power grid because this thing is pretty bad on power grid to start with. And having all this like big buff on the medium newts really hurts it. So we we'll definitely need them. Right, as for the drones, guys, take what you want, but try and make sure the damage drones. You definitely don't want ACM drones unless you're just like lol flying around low set or whatnot. But for the Ishtar hunt and stuff, you're definitely going to want as much damage as you can get so either acolytes hobgoblins warriors etc and like they do 86 dps by themselves and if we just load some ammo in here some republic fleet am so we're 450 total cold and if we heat up 504 so it's not like a great deal the range is pretty short on these 180 mils as well so you really need to be in close and um we'll talk about like things that you can do to to maximize your potential of actually winning because the success rate of this thing i found is pretty like it fluctuates all over the place. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Again, depends on the Ishtar fit and the space you're fighting in. But yeah, we'll we'll go over that as we we'll have a look at the clips. So that's um pretty much a standard like sub like 50 mil. It was like 47 mil a couple hours ago, but the markets are changing now. And if you guys want to see a super cheap fit, just to show you, if you're a bit of a newer bro and you can't fly all the tech two stuff, this is literally the cheapest you can actually get. So if we sim this, it's only 21 mil. We're even using just the tech one ammo. I mean, you could like use the good stuff. So if we overheat this with the drones and everything, I've actually left the T2 drones in there. I should have taken them out. Got 330 DPS. It's actually not too bad for 20 mil. Plus you've still got the two medium newts and that's what really counts. The cap's pretty bad though. But it's uh, it's just one of those things. If, if you're a new bro, you want to try it out, like tag along with someone who's doing a yeet or something. I mean, medium newts can tip the tide. Absolutely. Okay guys, in the first clip I'm going to show you the worst possible scenario you can get while you're hunting Ishtars in the Stabber. So for a start, we scan this guy down and he's running a site. So when we warp in, he's actually 40 kilometers off us. And that's going to mean we need to burn quite far to get into range. Now the Stabber is pretty quick, 3,500 overheated. Doesn't take too long to get there, but we're using quite a lot of cap. And by the time the engagement starts, I'm already half cap. So keep the nine in the Ishtar's tank there. You can see it doesn't take too long for the medium neutralizers to do the job and switches tank completely off. Unfortunately, by this point, I'm scrammed by the Jaguar anyway and way far out of range for my guns to do any decent damage. So it's pretty much GG. Right, we're going to land at pretty much zero or a few kilometers away from this Ishtar, which is absolutely ideal. This is what you want, guys. If you land 20 to 30 kilometers away, just burn off and get out of there. So here we've got the newts on. We're going to stagger them lovely here. We've got the damage on. We haven't had to use a mighty warp drive, so we've got a decent amount of cap apart from the initial warp in. Damage is coming in pretty quick, though, and we're going to just try and maximize our tracking. I didn't see the point of using the orbit button because... The drones are going to track anywhere from the Ishtar and we haven't got an afterburner. So that's my thoughts there. Also, I just want to shout out this Ishtar pilot, Craven. 
We did actually kill him. Uh, we had some back and forth in local and stuff. He was actually watching YouTube when this happened and he, he just heard the, the beep as you do, you know, when you start taking loads of damage. And as you can see, my stabber is like absolutely wrecked and the guy was actually cool enough to take the ship off us, repair it up and give us it back. So he got some isk to replace his Ishtar loss and I went away looking for more Ishtars to kill. Thanks a lot, mate, if you're watching. Really nice of you. So this next fight doesn't really start at zero, but it starts at just like one mighty warp drive cycle and then we're going to head back. If you double click behind you guys, you're going to slow down faster. I'm not sure if you knew that little tip there. And we're going to just try and match his trajectory so we'll get all the tracking. We don't want to miss any shots. We want to get good clean hits on these Ishtars because they're super tanky. I do hit keep that range out there. I think it was a bit of a mistake, just like force a habit. So I start aligning in his direction as well, get behind him and pretty much GG at this point. This tank stopped repping ages ago because of the newts, which was nice. Could have switched him off by this point, to be honest, just in case I cut myself out, might have lost scram or something. And then all of a sudden, the double kill happens. Now this is really rare. So I die and then the Ishtar dies. I'm not sure if the rats killed him or anything, but I mean, I got on the kill mail at least. But yeah, that was uh, pretty mad. Not something you see every day. Guys, the next two fights are going to be Lorsak. The first one is against uh, Torv and his Caracal here. So it's just obviously the classic buffer tank Caracal with the rapid lights. And we started going to work really quick. So overheating from the start, got the newts on. I'm pretty sure the scram dropped soon, so it means he's capped out pretty hard. Any invuls he had on, I'm not sure what the fit was. It was it was probably like double LSE invul as normal, but it's probably capped dry by this point and really... I could have switched off the needs just to save my cap again, just in case I dropped scram or something. But he's uh, he's probably spamming his invul or whatnot, and he's pretty much dead at this point. He was shooting thermal and AM, so that AM rig definitely helped you. I'm not sure if it's going to be better to fit an extender, but I mean, it's it's pretty much a flex slot, so it depends on what you want to fight. And again, not orbiting, I'm going to keep the track in max as possible, because we haven't got an AB. One thing to mention as well about when you're flying just like a standard Tech 1 cruiser, a lot of things are going to want to engage you in null sec and that's probably one of the strengths because you can sort of bait people in. There was a heck eight jumping backwards and forwards on this gate and I knew he wanted to fight, although I did start the fight completely wrong here. What I did, I uh, sort of burned back towards the gate and let him come right into us. What I should have done was just 180 when he decloaked and then let him coast into the sort of range just so I could take less damage. Because it didn't look like we actually capped this guy out. He was actually hitting with pretty hard all the way through. And really that mistake could have cost us a ship if I was like fitted slightly differently with a tiny bit less tank or whatnot. So yeah, there I hit the approach by accident. I should have 180. He would have gotten pretty close and he's obviously like dual web or whatnot. But yeah, we, we definitely don't cap this guy out. You can see he holds like scram and web all the way and he's, he's really doing lots of damage. But ultimately we get the kill and I'm pretty happy with that. Next up, we're going to be fighting another heck eight, but this time it's dual rep with a cap injector. And we're on the Tama gate, so I'm expecting just to get absolutely blapped off like all the locals or whatnot. But I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. Heck eights are really good to fight in the dual newt snabber because they rely on cap to shoot the guns. But with this guy being dual rep, he proved to be a little bit more difficult. I do think like right now I'm flying pretty good. I'm at a good range. The guy can't really hit us. Um, he's obviously got like void loaded or whatnot when he can shoot. You can see I'm not like scrammed up web, so he's keeping all his cap for his guns or whatnot. Yeah, this was a good little fight and he was like super bling as well. He had like the best air type reps and everything on that. So yeah, good fight, mate. Well done.
And that's pretty much the end, guys. Thanks for spending your time on the channel here. I know it's been a little while since I uploaded a vid, but we're trying to pump some out now, now that I've got a little bit of time after Christmas. Uh, a couple of things just for the stabber, just to reiterate. Make sure you've got the correct ammo loaded. If you're going to yeet, just check the region, check what rats there is, and then you'll be able to see what the Ishtars are going to be tanked for. But then that, in low second things, just go for like Hecates and Thoraxes and Vexas that are like cap hungry ships, you know, just to keep the tanks running and things. And you should be doing pretty fine with this fit. Of course, force multipliers in multiple of these things are absolutely crazy. You think if you've got four of these uh, cheap stabbers, you've got like eight medium newts and that's a hell of a lot of newton power. But once again, thanks very much for watching the video, guys, and I will see you in the next one.